Right, today, doing a bit of composting. This is what I've tried to get into. Um, but some of the things that I'm doing, um, obviously once I cut down trees and have the grass and there's bits of this and bits of that lying around, the idea is obviously um, what to do with it. And there is a lot of, a lot of space that I can sort of uh, put it, put the grass, whatever. So this is all very new and recent with me. So what I've decided to do is build a compost bin. I actually was waiting for the councils to open so I could buy a couple. Not that they're expensive. Um, just decided to got a lot of waste lying around, so I need to do something with it. So um, found an area in the garden. I'm clearing it out, putting the bits and pieces down. And I'm hoping that uh, this is going to be where I'm going to do the composting and whatnot. So the trees and all you see behind me, I've been cutting down trees over here. I've, I may not be too straight, of course, but I've been a lot of garden waste coming. So um, what am I going to do with it? So composting is the only way to go because uh, I can't get rid of it at the minute. Um, so. I'll just take a few pictures and I'll put them all into a wee video. Um, I have this composter here. Bits of bits of it are, are missing. And I had a <laughs> waste bin um, that was totally damaged. Um, and now uh, it, it's just ho uh, holding some of the garden waste. So I'm going to put everything into here. Um, so this is the area which I've cleared. Um, and I've just got to obviously fine tune it down a wee bit, bring in extra pallets and I've got wood here to say which is going to be all put, all put on to the, uh, narrow the slots down so nothing falls through. So we'll see where we go from here uh, in a wee while. This bit's not directly tied to the composter, um, but it's something that we're going to be needing uh, eventually. So, frame, just a simple frame. Um, doesn't have to be square. Uh, make it as you make it as you want, as you see fit. So, I've taken that. I have a bit of chicken wire. Um, it's now put my hands on it. You can see. I don't know. It's inch and a half holes ish so I've got my we stapler um, I have little bits of wood and I'll show you all what I'm doing with that in a wee minute so four pieces of wood different lengths and they're all part of this is going on that as well and I'll show you what I'm going to do before I actually go into the composter it's just to get this wee job out of the way I'm just using any staple gun. First time I've tried it with this.
Right, so directly after using a bit of the stapler, uh, the wee stapler I'm using is uh, Titan, or sorry, it's a wee Stanley, it's not Titan. Um, and the staples that I have for it are not long enough. Um, and I thought about this when in the middle of doing this here. Uh, just as I ran out of staples, I was about to replenish them and uh, realised that once I put a bit of weight in this, you'll see what I'm doing. Once I put a bit of weight on it, um, chances are that the staples could pull out. So, with that said, I decided to change it to um, inch uh, proper staples, wire staples. So, the, it'll definitely not pull out. So, I'll show you the rest of it in two wee ticks. So, now that I have most of it stapled down, it's obviously taken from a big one of chicken wire. <coughs> Decided just to trim it down a wee bit, make it a wee bit long, longer than usual. And so I'll be able to then fix it to the side of the frame here. But what is he doing? That's the thing. Sometimes it's as easy. To to go out and buy something as it is to make it. And considering that I've had, I'll not say the raw materials, but the fact that I've got this sitting around here is a reason why I decided to just to do this. And without doubt, I feel very blessed by God. These wee ideas keep coming and helping me. So that's basically the framework done. And as you can see there, this is starting to come together. But what else am I doing? So I'm gonna finish stapling it around here and and then I've got an extra wee bit to put on, which is called the legs. A uh, quick update to this here. So uh, I have the chicken wire framed um, and then with the edge of the chicken wire I've taken uh, pieces of plank from a pallet put on the edge of it um, and that's going to hold that's going to hold the um, as you can see them there that's the pallet or the planks that hold the pallet um, and that's obviously going to stop uh, any fingers being caught um, with the chicken wire now on to the next part that's the frame and wire set. So the next section, I'm just taking some dagon screws, some three inch dagon screws. Um, I'll take four posts. So I'm going to put two small posts that side.
understand? Oh, they're not square, they're not this. Don't need to be. You can do whatever you need to do. sturdy enough for exactly what I need it for. Have you guessed what it is yet? No, it's not here. Has to be rough and rally. I do have to turn it over now the legs fall off. Right. As you can see, it's at a slight angle. This is going to be my sieve. So I'm going to be able to scoop down here, scoop soil, pour it on that there. It's going to, all the rocks and weeds will get caught at this top level. And all the soil will fall down all the fair soil fall down into the bottom so it's just a sieve a lot of work for a sieve but I love it because I made it it's another quick video uh, so many quick videos just to yeah, splice them all together um, decided to add the supports in the bottom for the legs not that there's going to be a lot of weight on the top of this here so when I'm sipping soil um, the angle is really just because I'll be at the lower end it'll be easier for me not so high to lift um, and shovel so I'm standing here um, and that literally is at my knee so I can throw uh, I can throw the soil up here the stones will start rolling down and, and hopefully then they're going to roll off and down into here so I'll have a, a pile of stones, I'll have the soil in there I can drop um, all the weeds and all that in so that is the finished job, that's it, done and dusted so just set the sieve up fairly quickly um, just put a pot underneath it I've got a wheelbarrow of some soil that I just taken out of the garden so does it 
does it work nice? So this has got everything from weeds and stones. So and the idea is just to pull it in and see whether it does the job or has it been a waste of time. So well, there we are. There's big stones coming out. Of Easy enough to stick to it. When they're on, this is on the, the paved area. So it was in the garden, it was too bad for the moment. So there you go, there's weeds not getting through, and of course, big stones. So it works. Now, well, there you see it, uh, had a wheelbarrow full of soil which I just dug out of the garden. That's the sieve sitting there with just a flower bucket or a plastic container below it. Um, I have two separate containers and that's the stones that I've taken out and then that's just the weeds. They're just hand. It is a bit of a mess. <laughs> but not much. And then if you go into the soil, what's it gonna be like? I'm sort of glad I put the Easy enough moved off, so there's the soil. Get out of the way. And oh, very, very fine. There is some stones on it, there is still, no doubt. And you can see it's just falling through my hands. Very, very fine. So that's well placed.